<laughs> awesome. All right, guys, what is up? We are going to do my very first, first pickups video. I've been doing this shit for about a year. I've been meaning to do pickup videos. I just never got around to it because I pick up so much shit. Like, I, last year, I picked up so much shit, I thought that I had to start doing, like, quarterly pickups, just because doing doing a once-a-month thing would just be so damn tedious. Especially because a lot of shit I don't get to, like, the middle or the end of the month, depending on what. But here we go. January's pickup videos. It's all in this bag. We're gonna fucking go through it right now to show you what I all have and what I have to offer this channel. First out the gate, we got Skitchin. I loved this game as a kid. Had to have it, CIB. That's just my preference. It's got everything in it. It even has the fucking tip line. If you want to call the Sega Genesis tip line. I mean, game cart is fucking on point. So I mean, th this is a this is a very good. Uh, I would say closest to mint. I can probably find man. MA13, <laughs> right when the fucking rating system came out. Alright, man. This next up, another awesome one Road Rash 2. This one isn't in such great condition. That's kind of a. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd say decent. I wouldn't go so far as to say good. The box is in great condition. But the game and the cartridge itself, this one. This one, man. Revenge of Shinobi original version. It's not the reprint. So this one will have uh, Spider-Man and Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk in it. Like, this is the original one before they got all the copyright bullshit and had to reprint the whole game and change bosses and shit. Uh, this game. This game I got because of Chris Levi 13. It looks like so much fun. Even though it did look I don't know. To be really honest, it looked kind of stupid, but it looked kind of really fun. It, like, once you got the hang of it, he just, he didn't have the instructions. So, I mean, it looked, but it still looked fun. So, this one I got, also, complete inbox. I'd say that's pretty good condition. Next, that is it for the Genesis, but, oh, man. Have we got some new cool shit to play on 360 once I finish up some of my shit. We got Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. Fist of the North Star 2. Also Ken's Rage. He's he's real fucking pissed that they made two fucking games about his rage. No, no. Calm down, Morgana. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to be playing those soon. Awesome. Bro, everybody who's got a PS2 yeah. has to have this game. Yeah. PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits. Here comes the pain. This one, this one's motherfucking still in the fucking bag. So let's see, let's open this up. Because this one was supposed to be like CIB, good condition. So far, obviously, the, the box looks great. Just rip through this fucking shit. I don't need this bag. Oh, dude. I don't even know if I want to play this, man. Look how slick this shit is. This is like brand fucking new, bro. Let me check the disc. Yeah, man. Fucking nothing on it. That is slick. Speaking of which, though, let's check out these uh, Fist of the North Star. I got a little fancy note on the inside telling them how much they love me. Shame, shame. They don't love you like they used to. But nah, man, like these games, it's got a little crack on the inside on the first one. Second one looks pretty slick, though. They're both pretty great condition. One of my other favorites, fucking Rumble Roses. Once again, man, let's fucking find them deals. Get them CIBs cheap. Okay, mature rated wrestling game with shit. So you know what that means. Wink, wink. And then this one. Onimusha 2. 
I had the whole trilogy. When I moved, I somehow lost this one. But I still have three chilling around. Yeah, only move to two. Let's check out that disc. Boom. Straight. Straight up. Clean. Damn, man. You got a poster? Oh, shit, dude. No, nope, that's just a. No, nope, this is. This is a fucking Sly Cooper 2 map. That's weird. Got a little extra bonus. I don't think that the uh, seller was intending for me to have. Yeah, that's you, Momo. But either way, man, fucking great shit going here. Oh, and this, this right here, man. I had already gotten this as two separate games by accident, but I had to go back and I had to get the Bayonetta 2 with Bayonetta 1 in the same box because this one is more valuable and bro, bro, look at this. Motherfucker has bubble tape, like bubble wrapping on the inside in between each disc. That's how much this motherfucker cared about the game to send it in like mint condition clean disc no scratches everything is perfect in this this is this is fucking nice oh damn look at that look at clean you can even see the reflection of my other games in it that'd be fucking sick this one this one's a good one uh, I bought this for like eight dollars it's fucking clean, but man, fucking TNA wrestling for 360. I, I rented this a while ago, like when it was new. It's not that great of a game, but I really liked it. It has a nice story mode. It has some interesting characters. Boom. Fight Night Championship for Xbox One. Got this really fucking cheap. Especially it's weird because it's still in its original wrapping. And it's not like it hasn't been re vacuum sealed, like re like resealed. Like I can tell by the seams on this one that this is the original. This is the original um, wrapping. So that's awesome. Last game on the list is one that I played probably in what I want to say like 2001, 2002. I remember in college, like, like it was one of the first games I got for um, Nintendo GameCube. And it is, holy shit, yeah, looking good. I always forget how small these motherfuckers are. But it is Red Card 2003. Obviously, I wasn't playing it in 2001 or um, if it was 2003. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, it's like Blitz, but with soccer. So, like, I'm going to be playing this soon just for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, I, I fucking love this game. I really wish they had stuck with this because they also had, uh, I forget the baseball one. I think it was like, um, I think it was like hits. No, cause that was the hockey one. I don't know, man, but they had like, they had a hockey one that was awesome. And then they had a baseball one where you could just like fucking slam like grand slams out of the fucking house. And then I got this thing. This thing says it's a MP3 player for your PlayStation. But it was like it was like twelve bucks. So I was like, because it also says it could, it, it has, like, it comes with cheats, and that you can play imported games easier because instead of having to do like the uh, Pro Action Replay and the I ISO port with the spring on there. Oh, sweet. This thing kind of does the exact same fucking thing. Um, awesome. Yeah, so I mean, this plugs into the ISO port. Then you have your uh, red, yellow, white, um, regular AV connection. And then I guess you plug the AV. I guess you plug this into the ISO port and then you plug this into the actual PlayStation. 
like for the AV, but then you plug the AV connections in here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But this one also does come with a spring, so I guess it's really not too different than the Pro Action Replay. I guess essentially you just need something plugged into the ISO port to override the, uh, what's it called? The region lock, and then this helps, like this locks it in. So I mean, that that's an awesome find for fucking 12 bucks, because I have, uh, I, I had a Pro Action Replay and I, it, it never came with a spring, but I have Rival Schools United by Fate 2. I love that fucking series. And now, now we can play it. And so I will be doing that soon as well. And that is my January pickups of, oof, I hate to say this out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 11, 12, 13 games that I randomly bought on eBay. And I don't even remember buying them. I think no I think I just was asleep and somehow went through my wish list and ended up. He probably did. Yeah, like, like <laughs> he does like, sleep by. Okay. Yeah, I, I do. I do sleep by, and I do a lot of weird shit in my sleep. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure that I went through like my wish list of games, like I had been like holding on to, and just fucking hit like buy now on all of them. Cause I don't, I don't do that fucking bidding shit unless it's like really important. Most of the games I want, I can get real cheap and I can get it by now with free shipping 99% of the time. Like very few things do I pay shipping on. But that is it guys. Thanks for checking it out. And I will see you in a couple of weeks with my February pickups. Wait, wait. I forgot. My coupe de grace. <laughs> of January is my NES Advantage plus plus the kind of damaged but still reasonably acceptable condition box. Dude, I got this for 25 bucks off of the fucking Facebook marketplace. And it's still got the fucking service merchandise pickup barcode on it. That shit's real fucking cool to me. Oh, no. Excuse me. JC Penny catalog. <laughs> Model NESAJS 6528723000. JC Penny catalog. Quantity of one. But yeah, thank everybody for stopping by. We will be going through a lot of these games, and a lot of these games we will obviously just be playing for fun as they're sports games or, you know, whatever. You don't always gotta finish a game you start, although I do like to finish games I start. But I'll see you guys next time.